Day two of the Rainmaker is all about uh, making the emotional connection. And we talk a lot about 30, 3, 30. We reckon there are dozens of little pitches every week that you have to do, or that you have the opportunity to do. You get the 30 second one, the three minute one, and the 30 minute one, 30, 3, 30. If you've got 30 seconds, the traditional and typical elevator pitch, you better have energy and enthusiasm. You have to be up for it. Or why would they even listen to you? In addition to that, I'm sure you can do the factual one, the one that's got all the data in it, but can you do the shocker? Can you do the one that really, really wakens them up and has them thinking, I'm going to get them back? 30 seconds. The three minute pitch, it's three o'clock on a Friday afternoon. People are starting to go for their mobile phones, check their texts, check their emails. Think about home. You get a chance. You've got two or three minutes. You've got to structure it. You might make three points. Sure, you get some data and stats. You segue into a cracking little story that wraps it all up and you finish off with a little motivational tome that has them thinking, that makes sense. I'm getting that. And then 30 minutes. The big opportunity in front of the big audience. First of all, you better be able to answer the why question. Why am I up there? Why would they listen to me? And then you have to work out some creative material, how you make the emotional connection. Structure it effectively. And finally, for that last one especially, preparation, preparation, and preparation. No one is good enough to wing it in that big pitch. Prepare. And here's a little secret for you. Sure, you know you can prepare that 30 minute pitch, but did you know you can equally prepare the three minute pitch and indeed the 30 second pitch? Best of luck. <laughs>